Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Taylor Janet. If you're new here, um, welcome. My name's Taylor. And before we even get started in the video, just go hit that subscribe button. Join the family. Um, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I filmed a lot of videos during fall break. And so I pre-filmed, pre-edited, and those have been like going up every Thursday. And yeah, it's just been a minute since I've sat down to film and I miss you guys. And yeah. That's enough rambling. Today I'm coming at you guys with a BoxyCharm unboxing video. This one is for October 2017 and it's going to be the kickoff for my new monthly series of uh, BoxyCharm unboxing. Yeah. BoxyCharm is a monthly makeup subscription box and I didn't automatically start there. I originally had Ipsy which is a um, similar concept and Ipsy is $10 a month but I ended up not continuing with Ipsy after a few months because the products came to me small, they were damaged, and I just don't think it was worth my $10, and $10 a month is a lot. Now, I say that $10 a month is a lot. BoxyCharm is $21, which is way more expensive, and I originally thought, like, okay, maybe I could do this for, like, a month. I don't know, like, $21 a month is a lot of money, and so the box really has to be worth it for me to keep investing. Like, if I'm not like, I wasn't feeling ipsy, I dropped it. Now I'm doing BoxyCharm, and so I've been doing this for a few months now, and the key thing about BoxyCharm is that they're known for having four to five deluxe to full-size products, and that's where I think I was, like, not happy with ipsy because the products were way too small, even for $10. Now, when I was, like, doing research into the so many different types of monthly subscription boxes out there, I learned that BoxyCharm is not, like, there's no profile that you fill out that determines like your ethnicity or anything like that. And so I know I was concerned as a black woman because what if they give me a foundation in the color sand? Like that doesn't work for me, you know what I mean? And so that's one of the things I wanna talk about because I know a lot of the unboxing videos that I found, there weren't a lot of people of color doing unboxing. I will definitely discuss whether or not I think it's women of color friendly. And then my opinions also just as a human, whether I think it's worth the money because like I said, I'm in college. I'm not trying to waste my money. And if I don't like it, like obviously this video is not sponsored. So I'm gonna tell you how it is. That was my little rant. But yeah, these videos are gonna start happening every month. And yeah, I'm really excited. Hopefully this helps some people in knowing whether or not it's worth it. And I'm always going to give you guys my opinion from the heart. And oh my god, I need to... Let's get into the video. So this is the box that it comes in. Simple black box. And do, 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 we're opening it up. I'm pretending like I opened this. I already opened up this box. And the first thing that comes in the BoxyCharm box is this little card with the product descriptions on it. And we're just going to put that off to the side right now and get straight to the products. Ooh, this is the first thing I see. And this is the Dr. Brandon Pore Dermabrasion pore perfecting exfoliator. Now, I have not heard of Dr. Brandit, but then I was doing research on their Instagram. And, not research on Instagram, what? Research on Instagram? What? No, I was just snooping on Instagram, not research. I was snooping on Instagram, and a lot of people seem to like this brand. I hadn't heard of it, but I'm also really into skincare lately. That's definitely something I'm going to talk about in another video because it's like my obsession. This Dr. Brandit Pore Demabrasion business. So this is just an exfoliator and the original value of this is $58. Guys, okay. The box was $21 and this is worth $58. So you're already saving money. That I like. I like when things are expensive because I didn't pay that price. Um, also, if it's $58, that means it's probably good. Like, this is probably some bougie exfoliator. I don't really exfoliate my skin, but I'm definitely going to try this out and then I'll talk about it in a skincare products review thing that's coming to you guys later. But I'm excited to try it on my skincare journey. and. It's $58. What the heck? Well, that's none of my business. It's probably really good and I'm excited to try. Up next we have this. Oh, I love these. 
This is a dirty little secret eyeshadow crayon. I love eyeshadow crayons because they're great if you're in a rush, anything like that. The shade is Illusion. I haven't heard of this brand either, but let's swatch it. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Guys, I did like the lightest swatch. Like, let me do it again for you. Are you ready? The pigmentation is really nice. And I think it's a really pretty shimmer color that you could just pop on your lid or in your inner corner. That's really nice. Okay, I haven't heard of this brand before, but the quality seems really nice, and I'll try this on. I'll let you guys know in another video whether or not it's actually good quality. And this eyeshadow stick was originally $14 by itself, so almost the price of the box. So we're doing well. Let me get on my calculator. So, so far we have 58 plus 14. So far we're at $72, and that's only two products. Like, low-key, that's ridiculous. Like, a good ridiculous? I'm really... Okay, so far, so good. Like, I'm really pleased with this month's box. Up next, we have this Jonte Blue lip liner. It's in this... Ooh! I don't actually have a red lip liner, which is crazy. But it's in this really pretty red color. And this is actually only $5 originally, which is cool. Because if I like it, I'm going to buy more because they're only $5. So now we're at 17 17 What? $77. I, I like saving money. So, so far, so good. And also, the products so far have been really women of color friendly. So if that's, so if that's a concern, like I know it was for me, so far, so good, you guys. Ooh, okay. This is the Tarte Tartist Lip Paint. I've had like little sample ones in my Ipsy kits that were like that big. And I know that they're like good quality and everything. Ooh, so I got this liquid lipstick. It's a really pretty fall orangey red. So I definitely see myself using this in the season because it's fall. Let's swatch it, you guys. This is the red. It might be a little bit too bright for like my undertones and stuff. I forgot to swatch the liner. Let's swatch the liner while we're at it. But actually, the liner and the liquid lipstick seem to be a pretty good match. And I'm definitely going to try this on. And yeah, that actually looks nice. I'm just happy that it's red and not like a nude. Because, let's be real, nude is not nude. I'm happy to get a fun color and not something that's really just I'm not going to use because... If it's something that I can't use, then obviously I just have to give it away. But this, I actually am going to get good use out of the liner and the lipstick. And I'm happy that they go together. Like, that's some thought put into that. Now, the quick dry lip paint was originally $20. So this is the value of the box itself. But, like, it's just one thing. Let's add that to our list. We are at $97. Last, but, oh my god, certainly not least. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in the shade Prosecco Pop. First of all, first of all, the packaging is lovely. I do have a highlighter from um, Becca, and it's a pressed highlighter, and I love it. And I haven't tried any of their other products, but... The packaging is very lovely. The color intimidates me. Because it's an illuminator, it should be okay, but we're gonna swatch it here. Just be sure. <gasps> it's a pump. What? Guys, it's a whole pump. Like, this is nice. Hey, it's very pigmented. Ooh, that's actually really nice. So I just rubbed that in a little bit, and you can see that I, like, wiped most of it away, but it's definitely, it's like a goldish highlight. I think this would be pretty, not only to wear it by itself, like, I would wear it by itself, but also, do you know, like, I don't know if any of you guys have ever done it, but I would love to use this to mix in with my moisturizer too, to give me a summer glow, even though the summer is a long gone. Now, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid Highlighter was originally $41. Let's add that in for our final verdict. So, okay, you guys, the total value for this month's box was $138. Overall, like not even overall, like all together, I was happy with everything that I got. Everything matched my skin tone, which I'm happy about. Like I'm not gonna pay to get something that doesn't work for me because that not only speaks to the products, but also speaks to the company. So with this box, I think it was really accommodating and I really appreciate that. All of the products were great size, in great condition, and I was really happy 
just with everything. I know that not every month I'm gonna have things that I'm like feeling and whatnot, but that's why it's a monthly review so that I can give you guys updates. I'm gonna rate this box a 10 out of 10. Just everything just was great. I'm, I have nothing to say and I low-key wish I had something bad to say just to like make it more conversational, but I really liked it. Alright you guys, that is it for my October BoxyCharm unboxing. If you liked this video or the or these types of videos, please be sure to give me a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. Let me know if you have any monthly makeup subscriptions, how you feel about them, how much they cost. Let me know how school's going, midterms are happening or have happened. And as always, if you want to see a certain type of video, hit me up down below. I'm currently working on a requested video right now. Whenever it comes up, it's one of those videos that's going to take a minute to film. Semester's coming to an end, which is low-key terrifying. Thanks so much for watching my video. Have a great day. I'll see y'all next Thursday.